not nearly seeing enough or as much from the vanilla version of the game when I was really paying attention to Street Fighter Cross Second and playing it an awful lot is Cody. Now Cody was had one of the best like crouching crouching low uh, low kicks like in the entire game in the previous one. And is that what really made him so good? Like once you kind of take that away, he's he's no not nearly as many people are playing him. And the first one it was brain dead. Okay. Like it was the range. That it, it was the longest reaching low short in the game. Okay. It was three frames and it was unpunishable. Gotcha. Well, there on, you go. On block, so. There you go. It's kind of like Julia with her crouching around or crouching medium kick in vanilla as well. It was just insane. Yeah, exactly. It's actually still similar in this one. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Mardu oh. rocking that power gem immediately. Trying to get super Yomi over here and going for that grab. What was that? Raw count. Dude, oh, standing wow. roundhouse leads Sanford. to a crumple state. You never see that. Sanford has some fantastic combos. Oh, and all and that just red like, life is dude, gone. Dude, within one combo string, Marduk is just down by like 80%. Oh, Screw this. Blanc is coming in. Eat that damage. <laughs> oh, and Sanford didn't have Wow, a he thought that was going to cross up. See and tag him nice. back in, of course. Up ball. Has oh, to. Oh, that's shenanigans. Trying to go for a setup and gets a little bit of damage out of it. Good block, Holy and Ryu's man. taking some damage. Low forward standing roundhouse once again from Sanford. It is Ken's bread and butter. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. Mike's going to have to do his oh. work his butt off to make this happen. What is Mike going to do now? I'm seeing if Jump he gets a command fears. grab, this is going to work. And Sanford knew it and jabbed him. Ooh, oh, yes, uh -oh. This, is, this is one hit away. No. Oh, gets the full combo punish. I can't. That was so desperate. It was very risky. Yeah. He saw. He knew that he was one piece of chip damage away. One hit from chip damage. And... Decided to bring in Blanca. Let the troll take a couple of hits. Sanford recognizing that neutral jumping is one of the better things to stop Blanca from getting in. All right, and this is, you know, I, it's definitely amazing to me that Sanford goes with this team. Yeah. Just because it's so basic. It's, it's so, so like, archaic in Street Fighter Cross Second. There's so much better things that you can do with the mixture of characters. Yeah. Biting Ken in the neck. Mike Ross, Ooh, the cross that up freaking ambiguous as hell ball. <laughs> Yo, Mike looked over here. He's not even looking at the like Sanford or the match. He's just like, you see me? I'm so sick. <laughs> Can't do that. Wow. Ooh. Did not have a charge, so it does not go into a crumple state. And Mike is getting hit by the most random low. Oh, that is going to be a hell of a lot of damage, dude. That was a great anti-air by Sanford. You get a raw oh, DP you into cannot tag. jump in on Blanca. That up ball is incredible. Air grabs back down. Ooh. Straight for the overhead. I don't know if you can combo after that. You can. Damn. Oh, my gosh. The angle of that attack makes it so good for jump-ins. It's so fast. This will not kill, but it's going to leave him very close. One mix-up later. Wow. Uh, raw DP you tagging. Cannot, you Dude. cannot jump in on us. Three frames, man. Mike had the meter. He could have possibly gone for the alpha counter and maybe have killed. And just, jeez, oh, wow. damage on that. Dude, once again. Slam dunk. The most, the most camera movement of any throw I've ever <laughs> seen. Puts him back into the ground. So He's got those Sanford. dramatic Tekken camera oh, angle throws. Low forward, nothing. Sanford missing the low forward roundhouse. You have to It looks like those. Sanford tried to go for an uppercut, but Mike just got a raw jump in roundhouse there. Oh, okay. So that's what Mike was talking about. So Mike said that if you do immediate jumping roundhouse after a knockdown, gotcha. and he holds up forward, the game will follow whatever direction they go in. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool. Oh, and Mike is getting exposed right now. Damn. Sanford. Oh, my gosh. Just like that. There's some weird like tech like that. I remember in dealing with dealing with Sagat in Street Fighter uh, or I'm sorry CVS2. I learned this weird tech from Bucktooth with like if you have a knockdown with Rock Howard, you can actually jump in with Roundhouse and Sagat cannot uppercut you. It was like a really weird little piece of thing that helped you deal with like Sagat back in the day. And that's what Mike is doing here, applying those little bit of matchup knowledge. All right. Oh, it's electricity. I, I do think that Mike could have got more damage with the chain combo. Oh, but this is max damage right here. It's funny to see Blanca do two low forwards into like up ball. It just looks awkward. Oh my god, try to uppercut oh. that. Jeez, man. Jumps wow. in and just grabs him by the chest, puts him into the ground, and gets a perfect out of it. That range on that throw was out of Yo, control. Yo, dog. Oh no, it wasn't a perfect. It must have been a little bit helpful. Oh, he's good, good crouch. There you go. Low forward roundhouse once again by Sanford. Sanford, I love that combo. He's got the, he's got the, uh, the damage gem on right now. Did it pretty good. But he uh -oh. wants to maximize it. In oh, and did he just whip a grab? I think he did. Oh, you can't get out. Oh, oh and Mike I don't know missed the juggle. Mike missed the juggle. Is that combo. actually a juggle state? Okay. Yeah, he could have did a low jab, strong, up grab. Gotcha. Oh, and Mike 
not really getting the the wake up game correct. There's a there's a actual Man, legit wake up game with uh, Marduk, but uh, whatever. I'll explain that to him later. <laughs> oh, but this is so much damage here. This My is gosh, dude, just like that, within like ten seconds of play. Yeah, Blunk is just moving around, not even doing. Ooh, nice. Oh, and he almost that got low him. forward is so close, and he was standing. He was not blocking low. I feel that Sanford really has to watch out. Yeah. Oh, EX wow. is right through it. Goes nowhere though. That's punishable. Ah, I, I, I didn't know the ball stayed so close in this region. Blanca scratches his butt, goes off the screen, and leaves Marduk hanging to take some damage. Thanks, you good. troll guy. That was Green good. troll guy. Oh, and Mike Sayer. missing the up grab. Oh, can it be punished? Man, that low. F wow. And bad. Oh my god, the raw bad uppercut. Bad standing roundhouse. Uh, he should the, always be buffering the uppercut. The pace of that match completely changed halfway through. It was really crazy. Correct. Yep, Sanford once again fishing for those neutral jump attacks. Big damage right Man. there. Strong, strong, low Standing strong. strong in a combo. Man. So many medium punches. Whoa, the beefiest kick. Can you actually go standing roundhouse with Marduk in a tag? Uh, you can, but if you're too far to tag away. with. Yeah. But what happens is when you do the roundhouse kick, you train people. And yeah. How does that happen? My gosh, that man. That was like an uncombo right there. Oh. Mike down a lot of health right now. Gets the overhead, and that's going to be it. Wow. Yep. Sanford takes it over Mike Ross. Sanford took it. Wow. That was very, very unexpected. I think it was a lot of the damage from those those games really came from anti-air uppercuts and then tagging in Ken or tagging Ryu to follow up with a huge amount of damage. Well, some, you know, there was there was just a lot of actual, a lot of uncombos. Yes, uncombos, I think is a good way of saying because it. Because that was giving Sanford a lot. Like right there, the, the little sequence there of the low forward not comboing yes. and then the other button not comboing, exactly. but it, you still got a combo off that. You know, it's just... All like those training yourself that looks like they might have had a little bit a little bit out of